Hello students, welcome to Georgia Virtual. Um, this is um, our fall 2020 semester and this is going to be the first semester that we are using a new platform which is Canvas. This is the home page and this is the page that you will see once you click on your course. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how to navigate the Canvas platform. All right, so this first section here, these are your quick links. So each one of these buttons will take you to important information for your course. The next section is your classroom bulletin board, and this may change occasionally throughout the semester. And if you scroll down, you have some important announcements. So you do want to take advantage of reading each one of these important announcements, because I do talk about things that you need to do on the first day of class. I talk about your pace plan, which is your schedule, Jigsaw Live sessions, some frequently asked questions, and then I also give you some ideas of sites that you may want to bookmark. Also, if we go back up over here on the right hand side, your to do list, this is where you're going to see your upcoming assignments. So you do want to pay attention to those assignments that pop up on the right hand side because that lets you know what you need to be turning in next. All right, so let's get started by going through each one of your quick links. And the first one is the getting started quick link. And this is where you will go on the very first day. You want to click on that link and it's going to take you to the Getting Started module. And this is what you will work through to learn about Canvas and your class expectations, how to stay organized, time management, and all those good things. So at the end of the module, there is an acknowledgement form quiz. You do want to take that quiz and you do need to score 100% in order to move on in the course. The next button is your class announcements. So if I click on class announcements, here you can find your announcements that I send out to everyone um, in the course. And there may be multiple announcements here once you click on it. And notice that you cannot see the entire announcement. So you will need to click on the announcement to read the entire thing. And there you go. OK, so just make sure that you're paying attention to those announcements and also your announcements should appear on your home page at the top where it says recent announcements. The next quick link I want to look at is the teacher information page. And on this page, this is going to give you more information about me. And hopefully the images load, having some issues loading the images here. but. Um, here you can access my link to my welcome video. You can also access my badges. I've also created a cool uh, class app for you guys. So definitely you want to check out the video that I've done for you on how you can put this class app on your cell phone. Check that out. And this is what the app looks like. And here at the bottom, you see my contact information. You can definitely email me or call me if you have questions. And you can also use your Canvas inbox to send me a message. Do note that my office hours are 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. So I will definitely be online at those times. And of course, our live sessions are every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Next up, let's look at the class resources quick link. And of course, this is a place where you can locate resources that's going to help you be successful in the class. So you see your student success site information. You do want to click those links and read up on that. Padlet resources, I am going to show you what that looks like in just a minute. And then I've created videos for you for each um, module. So if you're wondering, you know, what's expected of you for each assignment, for each module, you want to click the buttons for that particular module and it's going to take you to a video, which I will talk about here in just a second. And then once I create uh, module newsletters, which will be coming soon, they will be linked here at the bottom. So let's talk about Padlet resources and the video tutorials. When you click on the button, it's going to take you to a video tutorial. However, um, you can also use Padlet to access the videos for each module. Now, keep in mind, I do have to 
um, continuously update palette because we just moved to canvas and it's going to take some time for me to recreate every single video so just know that sometimes in these videos I'm referencing Brightspace which is our old platform but that that's okay the assignments are still the same so just pay attention to the assignment instructions so here um, the digital design videos food nutrition and wellness videos and introduction to business and technology videos so for those of you who are working ahead you want to go ahead and move to another uh, module or you're finishing up early go ahead and check out the videos to see exactly what's ex expected for each assignment um, pretty much most of the food nutrition and wellness videos are done um, digital design you have to kind of scroll down uh, some of them are done some of them are not but just keep in mind I will be working on these videos throughout the semester um, and same thing for intro to business and technology so you definitely want to check out this Padlet resource page or just click the button and it will take you to the video all right so let's move on now keep in mind if you want to get back to the home page all you need to do is click the word home all right, next, let's take a look at the live learning sessions quick link. So here is where you can find the slide deck presentations and the uh, videos recordings for each one of our live learning sessions. So each, each week on Tuesday nights when I'm done, I will be posting this information here. So you have your notes section that kind of gives you a description of um, what the session was about and I will be linking the recording and I will give you guys the topic and the slide deck and I may change this may look a little different once you're in the session because I may change this up just a little bit but um, that's where you can find your recordings and one more thing to join our sessions on Tuesday nights you can just click your uh, jigsaw link right here and um, you will simply log in all right so the last uh, quick link that I want to look at is the modules quick link. Now the modules quick link when you click on it it's going to look just like or it's going to take you directly to the getting started information that I mentioned earlier. Um, once you're done with the module though you do want to click the arrow to collapse it so that you don't see it. I think that's going to help you stay organized and once you scroll down you can see the different modules there's an introduction to gas course ctae foundations and so forth and so on of course depending on which class you're in for me these modules will be different but what i want to show you is that you can see your assignments and how many points they're worth so if you look here you can see those okay and what you want to do is you all these blue links you want to click on them because those are going to serve as your um, online textbook if you will so this is where your content is going to be located so i right clicked and i opened this in a new tab and so now i can read my content so i can go through each one of the pages um, you do want to scroll down because you know there may be more information as you scroll down it just depends if you see a presentation you want to go through it so i'm just going to kind of click on these pages and each module has different uh, a different number of pages so you do want to click through all of them and again scroll down complete communication in the workplace excuse me. today's lecture is titled handling i'm going to go ahead and close out of that because the audio starts playing but you want to complete any of the tasks um, and so forth and then you want to go and complete your assignment or your discussion or your quiz so go in order and also read your content that is super important all right, so I am going to click on an assignment just so you can see what that looks like whenever you are trying to turn in your work. Select the assignment and click on uh, Submit Assignment. And then you can go in and attach your work by choosing the file that you want to upload. Um, you also have an option to submit a um, URL and also uh, text if you wish. Okay, and I'm going to go back and show you guys what a discussion submission looks like so i'm going to click on a discussion and here you will see the topic you will see your question you do want to respond to the question and make sure you give me a thorough response but um, by doing that you need to click reply and then you will type here one of the things i want to remind you guys with the discussions 
is that you do have to read and respond to two other classmates posts. That means you have to say more than I agree. You have to give me three or four uh, complete sentences and you also have to attach some type of resource, whether it's a related video or a related image or a website where we can learn more about that topic. But you do want to give me a resource for each of your responses to your classmates. But you want to post your original um, response to this question here. And then, of course, you go in and you read your classmates' responses. So the next thing I want to look at here is the syllabus. So let's check out the syllabus. All right, so here you can find a description of the course. And this particular course is Food, Nutrition, and Wellness. You can also access the Georgia Standards. So you can click that link. And then here you have a link that's going to take you to GAVS policies and procedures. Here is your course summary and once you're into your Canvas course, you're going to see a list of assignments and you'll see due dates for those assignments. It's not just going to be my office hour, which is what you're looking at now, but you'll actually see like your true assignments and you'll see due dates next to those assignments. So just keep that in mind. Now it does take 24 hours to populate your uh, summary here so don't get alarmed if you don't see that right away over here on the right hand side is your weighted categories so if you are one of those students that really want to know how much each um, assignment category weighs this is where you can find that so notice your acknowledgement form quiz is graded and it's in the grade book but it doesn't weigh anything it's just what you need to do to get started in the course Discussions are worth 10%. Coursework and quizzes are 30%. And then your projects um, are 40%. And your final exam is 20%. So this is what you want to look at to know how much each category weighs. OK, so let's look at your calendar. Now, this example calendar doesn't have the assignments populating on it. But you guys should be seeing assignments throughout your entire calendar. And if you put your mouse on the assignment, it should tell you exactly what it is and when it's due. So just make sure you meet that midnight deadline for each one of those assignments on those particular days. And just plan out your weeks or plan out your month. You know, use those time management skills to make sure that you're meeting those deadlines. Now, this is the monthly view. But there's also uh, an agenda view that's really good if you kind of want to see a list of your assignments. And again, you're going to see actual assignments here, not just, you know, my office hours. So um, this may be another way that you want to um, view your assignments. OK, so those are two different ways that I recommend that you view your work. OK, so the last thing I want to show you is grades. So I'm going to click on the grade book here and um, you can see, first of all, this is a test student. So there are no grades in this but you can you'll see a list of your assignments and you'll see how many points the assignments are worth but once the assignment is graded you will see your score under the score category and you will also see comments if I've left you feedback you should see an icon in this column that you can click on to read my feedback or you can click on the actual assignment and it'll take you to some feedback but again this is a test student so there's no uh, feedback and scores here for you guys to see but you I did want to make sure that you knew how to check your grades now this is something you want to make sure that you're doing every single day get in here check your grades make corrections if I tell you to make corrections that's very important all right so I hope this video tutorial was helpful if you have any questions please reach out to me I'm here to help thanks guys